The Department of Energy National Nuclear Security Administration's Office of Radiological Security works to prevent high-activity radioactive materials from being used in acts of terrorism. The Office of Radiological Security, or ORS, works with government, law enforcement, and businesses to provide world-class security technologies, training, source recovery, and alternative technology replacement initiatives to users of high-activity radioactive sources. Although radiation sources do a lot of good for medical facilities, they help cancer patients, they help in terms of being able to irradiate blood and purify it, they also pose a great threat if they fall into the wrong hands. If a terrorist or criminal gets a hold of that, one, a criminal could sell it or use it as a radiological exposure device or terrorists can make a dirty bomb or RDD, it would have a catastrophic effect here in the city. ORS provides federally funded security enhancements and training for law enforcement and on-site security professionals to enable them to effectively respond to an active radiological theft or sabotage. Focused collaborative training events include alarm response training, radiological security awareness and response training, personal radiation detectors or PRD training, and tabletop exercises for local security and response officials. Our almost decade-long relationship with the Office of Radiological Security has allowed us to create long-term partnerships with the folks that use this material every day and have allowed us, in conjunction with ORS, to upgrade security, upgrade their connection with their local law enforcement agencies in their area, and for us to exercise and train together on response protocols if something were to happen at their site. Before we worked with the Office of Radiological Security, we were unaware as a police department of the threat of radiological material, what the, what the threat could be to our community. Going through various training programs with ORS, our officers learned specifics about what the threat could be, what the potential for terrorism was. ORS's alarm response training is conducted at the Y-12 National Security Complex in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. The training is approved by the U.S. Department of Homeland Security and provides hands-on training in realistic settings utilizing actual security equipment. Alarm response training is really about teamwork. It's about all the people that would be responsible for responding to a radiological or nuclear event. We want to share what we've learned over the 70 plus years of protecting our national nuclear security materials and help them understand the challenges they face for protecting these uh, radiological materials of concern and keep them from getting into the community. There are measures you can take and put in place for response and that is only done through having teamwork, through building the team uh, to develop those uh, procedures and protocols. Bringing this whole network of people together helps them to quickly uh, develop their procedures, protocols, and identify any gaps they have uh, at their site uh, for security. Or has helped us not only with with the security evaluation of the hospital, but also how to reduce the risk in collaboration with the police department and other departments. It was one of the best training that we could see the whole pictures. In fact, since then, our collaboration with police department has been increased tremendously. Our officers have all been through that uh, general training at the Y-12. What that gives us is, is a much more clear picture of the uh, drastic consequences of a source getting out. I would definitely recommend the alarm response training for all law enforcement agencies. You know, whether you deal with radiation on a daily basis or you just have a facility somewhere close to your jurisdiction. Radiological Security Awareness and Response Training, or RAZOR, works with major metropolitan areas to draw on existing law enforcement expertise in peer jurisdictions and adopt relevant aspects to their police departments. Training in the native city enables the force to be at a high state of readiness and able to respond to actual radiological theft events in the area. Training locally is also more economical as the law enforcement and partner site personnel do not have to travel. Having a program that we can run here organically in Philadelphia with ORS's support really gives us the ability to keep our folks at a high state of readiness, able to respond to actual events here and get the valuable training at the same time. Training is much more economical when we can send our experienced trainers 
get certified to teach a program and then deliver it here locally. We've been training in this at our own headquarters in Philadelphia and also with the Philadelphia Police Department. Our partnership with Philadelphia Police includes our officers and their officers in training together along with our dispatchers to ensure that all of us are aware of what we have on our campus and what we have throughout the city that our officers may need to respond to. Training together with the partner sites, with their security personnel, with their rad safety professionals, we're adding another layer of realism to the training. They're actually visiting and working with the folks that are at that facility 24 hours a day, learning what the best approaches are to the facility, what doorways, what stairwells, what elevators would need to be used to access the alarm locations quickly and safely, where we're able to set up for officer safety to prevent an adversary from leaving the facility with the material that, that is being protected. In addition to the alarm response training course, ORS provides site security with personal radiation detectors or PRDs and supported training so that responders have the tools and knowledge to safely respond to a radiological theft event. This ORS Train the Trainer course offered at the Y-12 Training Center provides site security personnel with the tools needed to conduct their own PRD site training, including development and refinement or distribution plans and effective use of PRDs. The PRD program is a program that's a follow-on to the alarm response training where students get hands-on specific training with the personal radiation detectors that will allow them to be able to determine and establish their policies and procedures for the PRDs as well as set up a one-hour site-specific training program for the personal radiation detectors themselves. ORS co-sponsors tabletop exercises with the Federal Bureau of Investigations and the NNSA Office of Counterterrorism and Counterproliferation. These one-day collaborative live training events bring together federal, state, local, and private sector officials to respond to a site-specific radiological theft scenario. We were lucky enough to have a capstone exercise here called Rolling Thunder. What that allowed us to do was we brought in multiple agencies and federal partners here on campus to run through a tabletop exercise of what that would look like if there was an incident on our campus and how we would react and respond to that. So it was a very successful exercise. There were over 250 participants there. I highly recommend that other departments across the nation take advantage of all of ORS's training programs. You owe it to your officers as a police commander to give them a sense of safety and security and an understanding of what the threat is and how they should respond to that threat. By using a small amount of equipment, a short amount of training, a lot of our common sense everyday law enforcement skills and making sure that these sites have adequate protection, adequate security in place, we're preventing someone causing great harm to our country, great harm to our community, great harm to our way of life. To find out more about how you can do your part to secure your business, your community, and your country, contact the Office of Radiological Security or visit our website.